hello everyone i hope you're all well welcome back to another vlog so i'm actually starting this video the day after that i filmed the little food haul that you guys said you was happy to see so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna insert that clip in after this and then it will probably jump back to me i'll let you guys watch that now and then i'll be back after. So we are just in Lidl doing our food shop, our weekly food shop, which I will show you when we get home. But we do a list on our phone just to make it easier um, because otherwise we end up picking up bits that we don't really need. So um, Harry, come here a sec. No. Just show the list quickly. So we do like Monday to Friday and then we write like a list of all the ingredients i guess um that we need um and then it just saves us like wasting food in lidl they are also doing these j2o spritz at the moment for 99p which i thought was really good we did get some last week we got two but we drank them all already so um yeah just a little fyi if you like these j2o spritz they do apple and elderflower they do pear and raspberry and there was another one. Oh yeah, this one down here. Apple and watermelon. Another little find at the moment in Lidl. They're doing Dalmeo sauces for 99p, which I thought was quite good because they can be, I'm sure anything from a pound upwards, can't they? So yeah, that's a little deal they're doing at the moment. Another good find are these Hershey bars for 49p. These can be, God, anything from, again, a pound upwards in a, a normal, like, corner shop or something. So, yeah, I'm sure that says, yeah, 49p for the Hershey's. And they do different flavours as well, which is a really good find. All of, I mean, to be fair, they've got loads of good deals on this bit. I'm not going to go through everything, but um, what are they? Are they healthy? Craze bars. Hmm. Yeah, there's loads of things here, aren't there? But again, it gets too tempting. If you look too in, too much into it, it's like, oh yeah, I have that. I'll have that. But they've got a whole row of really really good offers. I've just got back from Lidl, and I just thought I'd show you quickly all what we picked up. Um, it came to twenty six pounds oh seven and this is basically what we're having for the week i must admit we do have stuff in the fridge and fridge uh fridge and freezer to go with some of these meals so we didn't really need to get that much this week i think normally our food shop can come to about 40 pounds for the week so this was very very cheap um this week because we do have most of the stuff in already but yeah so we picked up some mini tortillas. We normally get the big ones, but they didn't have any. The one, the problem with our Lidl is sometimes it's hit and miss. Like sometimes they can have stuff and then other weeks they're nowhere to be seen. So we had to just get the mini ones because so we're going to have fajitas during the week. We got some potatoes. I believe these are for the sausage and mash that we're going to have. So we got four potatoes. I don't think we need all four. We definitely don't. So I don't know why Harry's picked up a four pack. But anyway, we've got some long stem broccoli. I love, or tender stem broccoli. I absolutely love tender stem broccoli. We got some bread for Harry's sandwiches for during the week. I picked up some crumpets to have... Why did I pick these up? Because I've got porridge. I just picked these up because I thought I might have them as like maybe like a lunch during the week. Like on the days that I'm off. Because I am off a few days this week. And then I picked up some cobs. These are just to go with some dinners that we've got this week. Yogurts are for Harry's lunch. Ham for Harry's sandwiches. Some sauce for our spag bowl, I believe. Some chicken. What's the chicken for? Mm, oh, I can't remember what dish that's for. Anyway, two chicken breasts. Some butter. I got, I got these... Um, spaghetti things because right at the last minute i said to harry oh for lunch today i'm probably just gonna have spaghetti hoops on toast but i didn't want to buy a four pack of hoops even though they're good to just have in the cupboard so i said oh sorry i'll just grab one of these and he was like that's gonna taste disgusting but 
Um, I said don't judge until you try. So I may have that for my lunch today, but I did pick up a pot noodle. Not the most nutritional meal, I am fully aware. But, you know, those days when you just want a little snack. I picked up four, no, five porridge pots. Like I said, I have these for my brekkie. Bananas to go with them. We picked up the oranges because, I, like I said, they're a good evening snack. And we picked up some shower gel. And we just got these ones, sea minerals and lavender. We haven't tried these ones from Lidl. And then we picked up some Diet Cokes. It's annoying that Lidl don't do uh, Coke Zero. So we sometimes go to B&M and get the Coke Zero. But if we can't be bothered, then we just get Diet Coke. But I must admit, Diet Coke, I'm not a lover of the taste. I much much prefer coke zero and then we just got some cheese puffs to go with harry's lunch he has like a kiddie lunch <laughs> but yeah that is everything that we picked up for this week's food shop um maybe i'll do this like if i vlog if i vlog on a sunday or whenever i'm doing my food shop then i'll be sure to show you guys because some of you have said that in my last vlog that you are quite happy to see my weekly food shop so here it is, um, not a lot, but you know, it varies from week to week. These are also what we get from Lidl quite often actually. Um, they are the baby jackets, which I absolutely love. I pop them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. But before I put them in, I like squash them. So they're like kind of like squished because um, they taste better and they come in, I'm not gonna open them, but actually no i can open them they come in this packet like coated in like garlic and um can you see that one sec so this is the packet that they come in and they're like coated it must say what they're coated in herbs and garlic and they taste delicious we usually have this with salmon so yeah, I'll just pop them in like an oven dish, squish them down and pop them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and they come out amazing. So definitely recommend them. And we also picked these up, which we haven't tried before, but I think we might be having these this week with a meal. So yeah, I'm yet to try these, but definitely, definitely recommend these. So that was my food shop for the week. I didn't film anything of myself that morning because I literally, well, we both woke up and chucked on some clothes and went to the shops. We're literally in there 20 minutes max. Like we're so quick, we whiz round. We don't like spending any longer in there than we need to. And then we came home, had a shower, had a nice hair wash, but then I completely forgot to pick up the camera yesterday. I had a really, really chilled Sunday. But today is Monday and I'm off work today. However, I'm just about to go out on a walk because I just really feel like I need to go on a long walk to just stretch my legs. I've been a bit lazy this weekend um, and it was supposed to be quite a productive one and it didn't turn out to be. So today I'm going to go on a nice long walk and um, I'm just waiting for some washing to dry in the tumble. And yeah, I've just been potting about this morning, taking some pictures of like my decor around the house and adding it to my home account so if you don't follow me over there and you want to know where something's from it's probably best to follow me on there or, or just have a look at the highlights on the page because I've put them all into like little highlights so they're easy to kind of access so yeah I've tried to link everything I can if I haven't linked it then it's because it's no longer on the website so but it may be in store so yeah um so yeah just thought i would basically start the vlog because i hadn't done an intro to it i thought i'd just do a quick ootd so i'm wearing this coat from primark um it's a really really good find actually i wouldn't think it's primark actually if i was to see it on someone else um it's just this long kind of it's quite a smart coat i would say you can kind of dress it casual like i am or you could dress it up and wear it with like a nice kind of going out outfit. But I've just chucked on the 4849 hoodie, this jacket, and then I'm wearing these leggings from, they're like ribbed leggings from, I think H&M. I don't really wear them out much because they are a little bit see-through and they give me a little bit of a camel toe at the front. 
so I avoid wearing them I kind of keep them for like indoor things like if I'm just chilling around the house but I thought if I'm wearing this long coat my bum's covered and I might chuck a scarf on over the top to kind of cover the front because it probably is a bit cold out even though it's nice blue skies um it's probably pretty cold especially along the seafront so yeah I'll wear a scarf or something and then that can cover the front and then um, I'm also wearing my new New Balance trainers because I think they will go perfect with this neutral outfit. I've gone very neutral today. So yeah, um, that's my OOTD of the day. I said that so wrong. That's my OOTD, not OOTD of the day because OOTD stands for outfit of the day. So that was my OOTD. Hey everyone, so I'm back from my walk. It's been a good few hours actually since I've been back, but it is dinner time and <laughs> So tonight's dinner, we have got chicken, well, another kind of homemade Nando's meal. We're gonna do chicken kind of butterfly with creamy mash and broccoli. So normally Harry does the chicken, like I've said before, because I tend to dry it out. But Harry is a little bit stressed today. So he's on his way home from work and he's just had one of them days so i said that i will sort dinner out because he said he wasn't like in the mood to cook which is totally understandable um we all have them days don't we so i said don't worry i will cook tonight so i've just started to well the, the potatoes are boiling i've marinated the chicken so i'm gonna fry that in a second and do the broccoli so it sounds like a simple dish doesn't it but is whether or not I'm gonna dry out that chicken. So I will keep you updated, but fingers crossed it comes out okay because the last thing I want is him coming home to a dried, messed up dinner. Is it nice? Very nice. <laughs> Hi vlog. So it's quite a long time since I last vlog because I actually, split this vlog into two didn't I because the other the get ready with me section was too long so I had to just do that one on its own so this part I'm basically just finishing off this vlog but it was perfect timing because guess what came I mean I don't think I told you that I ordered them but we ordered dining chairs and I haven't even shown you what they look like so we're gonna start unboxing them and also I ordered a couple bits from H&M Home because I noticed that that vase came back in stock. You know the round one, the one I've got in my bedroom that a lot of people have? Uh, the mini version came back in stock so I ordered it because I thought it would be good for the TV unit. So I don't know if I'm going to put anything in it yet but I might get those little like twig things. I know that sounds weird but they actually look really really nice. So... You'll see it when I bring the vision to life. But yeah, I've been waiting all day really to unbox these, even though we did pop out. So we've um, decided to do it now. So I've got Harry here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna help me unbox. So I'll let you start. And then we will show you what sort of chairs we went for. I mean, you can kind of see on the side anyway, what they look like. Yeah, there's two in a pack, so I think it should just be a matter of putting the legs on. More cardboard. We have to do double. I know, I know. Can we do that well, it's one? cardboard week this week, so we might as well just hang off. Mind the wall, pull it forward a bit. I'm gonna have to uh, break it all up. I could just leave it like this, put it in the car, and just go to the dump till the morning. Hmm. So it should just be... Oh, maybe not. Screwing. Yeah. That, yeah. Maybe you just have to screw the top on. It's not much space. Is my tripod down here? Yeah, it is. I'll pop you on the tripod and then you can see properly. At least you've got the right leg. Oh. <laughs> is it the right chair? Yeah, there? yeah, it is. Oh, don't you go ahead? Yeah. That's back. Nice. 
can't put it up against the bread. I must admit though guys that they do look lighter online like compared to real life like online they must really brighten up the picture so just a little tip if you like i'll link them below but if you do all of them yeah, i mean it was lucky that we knew yeah. that like our friends had the exact same chairs that's where we got the recommendation from so we could see them in real life before we ordered mad, them <laughs> yeah so yeah just bear that in mind that the colour is just slightly darker. It's more like a beige, I would say, than a cream. I think it's classed as oatmeal. Oat, is it oatmeal on the website? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But they still look nice either way. I think you unzip this, Holly. And Ooh. I guess you've got to do some type of screwing. Okay, yeah. Can you put them on the table? Because we can do it yeah. on the table. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it all and then I'll put you on a time lapse when we're actually like screwing it together and right, doing the, the work. Put the tripod over there in that corner and take everything off the table and we can do it all on the yeah. table. I just did the first chair. Wow. Lovely. Now I'm just gonna do the second one real quick so we can actually use them to have our dinner. So I'm gonna unbox my H&M bits now. Harry's just tightening the legs on two of the chairs. We've got two of the chairs up. We didn't manage to get them up to eat on. Um, because we needed to tighten, tighten them because Harry sat on one to test it and it was really one that Holly tightened up. So, uh, he's just going around and tightening them all up. But I'm just going to open this H&M package so I can get it all out and put it into position. Uh. Let me go get some a knife. I literally just took a knife back out to the kitchen. Cute. Look. Oh, okay. Perfect size for the TV what unit. You in there? Well, I was gonna get these little like kind of like twiggy things with. I think they've got like little bunny towels on them. You know, like you you kind of get them in the Pampas, but they're a little bit different. But they're on the twigs. I thought they would look quite cute because I've seen them on a few people's like home like pictures and stuff. Ain't that um, like what they make Weebix with? Is that what you're talking about? No. The stuff that grows on fields. No. Wheat. <laughs> yeah, well, I swear that's what you were talking about. No. Um, if I see a picture, I'll take. I'll send it to you. Show you. But yeah, I really, really love these. I think these are super cute. They're only twelve pounds from H&M Home but they were out of stock for ages and I went on there for something not even for looking for anything in particular what was it oh, I can't remember now and I saw it on there and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna get you whilst you're in stock Harry got his PS5 out again because he's bought a different one because originally he bought a disc one but now he's bought a digital one yeah so um he's getting rid of the other one but he's trying to tell me that it will look nice on the tv unit this one i thought would be a lot heavier i must admit because on the website it looks really like big and heavy this is a new um ornament that they've got on their website by the way it had the little new sign next to it. Okay, it's a decent size. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger though. So. Mm. Very nice. Unusual. I think Harry would like something like this. Harry, do you like it? Yes, yeah, so I yeah. Nice. I actually really like that. 
Um, this is going to go on the radiator cover, probably on either one of the ends of the radiator cover. Um, but yeah, that's cool. So I've got that and maybe little bars. So let's pop them into position. Okay, this one. What do we think? On the end, on this end? I like it on one of the ends. I think I'll leave it there for now and see. It's one of them things where you just keep looking at it and you decide. And then the vase, let's, hmm, I don't think I'll bother with the vase yet because let me just show you what the TV unit currently looks like. So this is what the TV unit currently looks like. An absolute stone. Not attractive. But tomorrow morning when Harry has tidied it all up, Yep, what I'm gonna do. I will put the vase probably well it's gonna go on either end. Um I still need to get No, I did it I explained, didn't I, that you're getting rid of one of them. Um I still need to get some fake LED candles for those candle holders. But yeah. I will um Are you alright? I think they're fine. Put these in there is fake. Harry, they're candle Put holders. Real candles in there because no. you're never gonna light them. Yeah, because I'm scared of fire. I you're like to like, light the battery ones. LED, on. No, the LED battery ones look fake. No, they look rubbish. You can get flickery ones, and they, they actually look, look pretty rubbish. good. No, they don't. They look rubbish. So yeah, I will put that bars on the TV unit at some point when Harry's tidied up his so mess. So I am gonna end this vlog here because this is supposed to go up tomorrow and i want to get it up in the morning for you guys but i haven't put up all of the chairs we've only done two um i really can't be bothered to do the other two even though it's easy it's just like i really can't be bothered <laughs> so i'm gonna do the other two tomorrow um but you saw what the chairs look like and you will see them in many 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 vlogs to come so yeah um and i just feel like the living room is a bit of a tip at the moment with all the cardboard boxes and everything and obviously harry's all have his stuff out and and whatnot so yeah i'm gonna end it here and um i hope you enjoyed watching thank you for watching as always and i will see you all in my next one